Hey guys, Doug Aldrich here at Guitar World in New York, and I'm going to do a little section here on some of the riffs that I grew up listening to that I loved and inspired me through the years. Hope you like it. Okay, so the first riff I'm going to show you is by uh, one of the all-time greatest guitar players, Jeff Beck. It's always okay to interpret how somebody played something because I wasn't in the room when he did it, and it just sounds like this to me. I mean, standard tuning, it sounds like kind of a, a B-flat sus something and then a A flat and then an F get a little feedback and then it's so that riff is Then the, then the lead line comes in. And it goes on. It's just a, a really great groovy song by Jeff Beck, Lead Boots. Hope you like it. Something that was on the radio when I was a kid, which I loved, was the Eagles' Life in the Fast Lane. And uh, it's in standard tuning, and it's played probably with, as a finger pick and a guitar pick thing, but I'm just gonna play it, the notes as I hear them like this. <laughs> goes up high no vibrato just so it's a great riff you know just very simple but it's got some feel to it so it's and like I said you could finger pick it as well. Um, I lost my nail, so I can't do that. I'm just going to do it with the pick right here for you. So there it is, Life in the Fast Lane. Here's a song from, from Rainbow, Man on the Silver Mountain. Basically the inside the box, all that, but, but you've got these um, in-between passing notes that are picked. And I'm, again, he probably did it finger picking. You hear those little, I'm sticking in there. He might have used his thumb, or he might have used it. Not sure how he did it, but it's a great riff. Next one up is by Pat Travers, one of the probably, I still feel he's one of the greatest guitar players and underrated now, but man, back in the 70s and 80s, he was smoking and he came out with this riff, Snorting Whiskey. <laughs> So when I was a kid, I heard that on the radio, and it's, you know, really funky and stuff, and um, it is... It's just a cool riff, and so when you're learning guitar, it's fun to kind of use your ear. Now you can see it on YouTube or whatever, but at the time, you'd use your ear and you'd try to figure out what he was doing. 
which is kind of weird, but it, that's, it's cool how the, how the riff evolved like that. Just simple and cool. Okay, for the next one, we're gonna do a, um, a kind of a funky riff. It's a bit of a left turn. It's from a band called the Ohio Players. It's a funky 70s band with some great songs. And this is a song that um, kind of, it's like something that like the Chili Peppers would have written or something like that. It's really, really fun to learn. It's in standard tuning in C. I should say, I'm backed off here to clean up a little bit. I just back off my volume and then I'm gonna crank it up in a minute. I'm in the middle position on the pickup. And that's pretty much the song, right? And then it comes into this solo section, it's like... So it's just two really cool, funky parts. Hope you like it. Okay, so that's uh, some of the riffs that came to mind that I wanted to show you that were influential to me when I was, you know, forming my style, trying to figure out, you know, how to play guitar and then what I liked about it. And it was just inspiring when you hear these, these riffs and you go like, well, I wanna really wanna, you know, first learn how to play that and do it your own way and own it your own way. And then, you know, it turns into your style eventually. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. hope you learned a little, a little bit. And um, don't forget the new Dead Daisies album, Light em Up, is coming out very shortly. Check, check us out on, you know, the socials and stuff. There's always different stuff going on. You can uh, see some behind the scenes stuff. And thanks to you guys, readers of Guitar World and to the Guitar World guys in New York for having me. It's great.